Jump start first grade, everyone up front. You've been okayed for a treasure hunt. Let's go visit this island, get to know it by heart. You'll have the pleasure of looking for treasure from food to works of art. Are you ready? On your mark. Hey there, I'm Frankie, and that's Floyd. I'm so glad you're going to be my partner in the treasure hunt. Let's get started. Hold your horses, Frankie. As hall monitor, I've got to make sure you follow the rules. Your partner has to sign in first. Please sign your name or select your name from the list. Then, click the treasure chest and you'll be ready to get started. Great, that was easy. Now, let's set sail in search of treasure. Frankie, you haven't explained the rules of the treasure hunt yet. You and Frankie will have to help out around the school to earn clues. Earn three, and you'll be brought to the front yard to answer the first clue. Answer it correctly, and you'll get to go with Frankie on his boat. And you know what that means, Frankie. Yahoo! We're going on a treasure hunt! You're not supposed to dig here anymore. Don't worry, Floyd. One more hole won't sink the island. I buried a little something here that we'll need. This collar is for you. It's to help you get around. Click on it so we can get going. Great! Now let me tell you how it works. The first spot works two ways. The arrow will take you back to the last room you were in. And the door will let you exit the game completely. Click on the question mark if you need help. Click this to change levels while you're playing a game. Or click here if you want some extra help from Professor Fleabody. Anytime you want to see your collar, just move the cursor to the bottom of the screen. Whoops! I almost forgot one thing. If you do real well earning clues and finding treasure, you'll earn gold coins. The better you do, the more coins you'll earn, and those will help you increase your rank. That's it! Just click on the front door whenever you're ready to go inside. Ms. Nobel will be so happy to see us. Let's surprise her. You can get to your collar by moving your cursor to the bottom of the screen. game. You'll love it. We'd also love some clues for your treasure hunt. First things first. You and Frankie will have to earn clues by helping out around the school. You can test my new science game or join my book club. <laughs> and 
And just look at the lost and found. It really must be put in order. You'll be needing a treasure chest to carry all your treasures, won't you? Now you can keep track of everything you find. You'll also need this treasure hunter's scroll to keep track of your treasure hunt clues. The other teachers and I will add clues to your scroll as you go. And the most important thing is for you and Frankie to have fun. Okie dokie. You know, there are lots of other teachers and staff members who can give you clues for the treasure hunt. Hey, you could visit any of them. Gosh, I'm sure you'll love being a member of the book club. Books take you to new places and introduce you to new people. Just click on a book, read along with the story, and answer the question I ask you. Shall we get started? Okie dokie. Jack and Jill Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Jack fell down and broke his crown, and Jill came tumbling after. Why did Jack and Jill go up the hill? You're right! Hey Diddle Diddle! Hey Diddle Diddle! The cat and the fiddle. The cow jumped over the moon. The little dog laughed to see such sport, and the dish ran away with the spoon. What did the little dog do? The little dog ate with a spoon. The little dog laughed. The li You're a good reader. Only three more stars to go. Hickory Dickory Dock Hickory Dickory Dock The mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck one. The mouse ran down. Hickory Dickory Dock What time was struck on the clock? Very good! Soda Pop by Glynis Campbell Soda Pop, Soda Pop, bubbling up. Twelve little bubbles in my cup. Eleven Pop, ten Pop, nine Pop, eight. Bubbles make the Soda Pop great. Soda Pop, Soda Pop, bubbling up. Eight little bubbles in my cup. Seven Pop, six Pop, five Pop, four. When it's gone, may I have some more? Soda pop, soda pop, bubbling up. Four little bubbles in my cup. Three pop, two pop, one pop, none. No more bubbles, no more fun. What does he want when it's gone? Excellent! Only two more stars to go. Georgie Porgy Georgie Porgy, pudding and pie, kissed the girls and made them cry. When the boys came out to play, Georgie Porgy ran away.
What did the boys come out to do? That's correct. Triangles, Circles, and Rectangles by Mark Beckwith Hello, my name is Dylan. My teacher said my homework today was to find some examples of triangles, circles, and rectangles. This is going to be hard. Where am I going to find these shapes? Oh, well, maybe I will think of some by the time that I walk home. Let me see. A triangle has three sides. I've got to think hard about where I can find a triangle. Wow, that piece of pine tree is so much taller than the roof of that house. That reminds me, my mom left a piece of pie for me at home. Maybe I'll think of an example of a triangle there. A circle is something round. Let me just check the time on my watch. I can't wait to get home to have a nice cold glass of milk and maybe the whole pie. I hope I find an example of a circle at home. What was the other shape? Oh, yeah, a rectangle. That's really going to be a hard one to find. Oh, look, I'm home already. I'll wipe my feet on the mat. Open the door and sit down at the table and have my snack. Maybe then I will think of an example of a rectangle. Let me see. Triangles, circles, and rectangles. Where am I going to find those shapes? How many sides does a triangle have? You're right. Only one more star to go. Odd Todd and Even Stephen by Glynis Gamble Here is Stephen. He likes even. He likes counting two by two. Two, 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 four, six, eight. Even numbers. This Make is them Todd. Move. He likes odd. All the numbers in between. One, three, five, seven. Odd numbers. Make them green. They will do a show for you. Taking turns, green and blue. Todd, Stephen, Todd, Stephen. Odd, even, odd, even. One for Todd, odd, 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 two for Stephen, three for Todd, four for Stephen, five for Todd, six for Stephen, seven for Todd, eight for Stephen. Time to take the numbers home. Put them in their pockets. One, three, five, seven. All the odds jump in Todd's. Two, four, six, eight. All the evens jump in Stevens. Say goodbye. Please applaud. Even Steven, odd Todd. Which numbers does odd? You're a good reader. Hey, diddle, diddle. Hey, diddle, diddle. The cat and the fiddle. The cow jumped over the moon. The little dog laughed to see such sport, and the dish ran away with the spoon. Who ran away with the spoon? Very good! Golly gosh, you have all four stars! You just earned a clue. Hang on to that, you'll be needing it.
That's one clue for you, just two more and we're off! Time to hit the books again. Have fun! Cents Spent by Glynis Campbell I've got a penny, a shiny copper penny. I've got a penny. What can I buy? One cent, one cent. I can buy a gumball. One cent, one cent. Now my penny's all spent. I've got a nickel, a shiny nickel nickel. I've got a nickel. What can I buy? Five cents, five cents. I can buy a sticker. Five cents, five cents. Now my nickel's all spent. I've got a dime, a shiny silver dime. I've got a dime. What can I buy? Ten cents, ten cents. I can buy a pencil. Ten cents, ten cents. Now my money's all spent. How much is a... Excellent! Popcorn Popping by Glynis Campbell Get the popcorn, get the pot, pour the oil, make it hot. There's no stopping popcorn popping, just a little makes a lot. Popcorn popping one by one. There's enough for everyone. One, two, three, four. No, don't eat it off the floor. Popcorn popping two by two. Some for me and some for you. Two, four, six, eight. Not for doggy. Whoops. Too late. Popcorn popping three by three. More for you and more for me. Three, six, nine, twelve. Hey, don't eat it all yourself. Popcorn popping four by four. Everybody wants some more. Four, eight, twelve, sixteen. Time to lick your fingers clean. Popcorn popping five by five. Hopping up like it's alive. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. That's enough now. We've had plenty. How is the popcorn popping when it pops two, four? That's correct. Only three more stars to go. Ten Little Monkeys by Glynis Campbell Ten little monkeys in a line, waiting to swing on the big fat vine. The first little monkey is very fat. The second little monkey has a Panama hat. The third little monkey has to sneeze. The fourth little monkey is slapping his knees. The fifth little monkey has a great big grin. The sixth little monkey has a sharp hat pin. The seventh little monkey is counting his toes. The eighth little monkey is picking his nose. The ninth little monkey yells, not a peep. The tenth little monkey is fast asleep. What are they waiting to do? You're right. The Candy Machine by Mark Beckwith If I give you five pennies, will you give me a nickel? 
Mara asked Beth as she held out her brown coins. Yes, said Beth. Five pennies are the same as one nickel. But why do you need a nickel? I want to buy candy from that machine, Mara said as she made the coin trade. The machine will not take pennies. Mara thanked Beth and went to buy her candy. Beth, if I give you ten pennies, will you give me a dime? Mara asked when she came back. I need more coins to buy the candy. Sure, Beth said. Ten pennies are the same as a dime. Here you go. Mara thanked Beth, then walked to the candy machine once more. Oh, Beth, said Mara when she returned. I still need more coins for the candy machine. Can I give you twenty-five pennies for a quarter? Mara held out her hand with the twenty-five pennies and took the quarter from Beth. Beth, Mara called out as she walked back. I know," said Beth. "You want to trade another five, another five, another five, another five, another five pennies for a nickel? No," said Mara. "Then you Mara. want to trade two nickels for a dime?" said Beth. "No," said Mara. "Do you want a quarter for five nickels?" asked Beth. Mara shook her head. "Well, then you must want to trade two dimes and a nickel for a quarter," said Beth. 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 Not at all," said Mara. "I just want. What is the same as a dime? Do- no, that isn't the right answer. We'll try again. You're a good reader. Only two more stars to go. Counting Eggs by Glennis Campbell. Farmer Brown is counting eggs with his country cousin. How many have the chickens laid? Hope he finds a dozen. With a buck, buck here at the break of dawn, Farmer Brown has just found one. With a cheep, cheep there and a cock a doodle do, Farmer Brown has just found two. With a cluck, cluck here, 'cause the range is free, Farmer Brown has just found three. With a chick chick there by the hen house door, Farmer Brown has just found four. With a buck buck here by the old beehive, Farmer Brown has just found five. With a cheep cheep there from the baby chicks, Farmer Brown has just found six. With a cluck cluck here while the tractor's revin, Farmer Brown has just found seven. Chick chick there by the farmyard gate, Farmer Brown has just found eight. With a buck, buck here by the pumpkin vine, Farmer Brown has just found nine. With a cheep, cheep there from the old gray hen, Farmer Brown has just found ten. With a cluck, cluck here on the way to heaven, Farmer Brown has found eleven. Chick, chick there on the highest shelf, Farmer Brown has just found twelve. A dozen, a dozen. He's found an even dozen. But wait, what's this? Could it be an extra egg? Nah. With a crack, crack here by the country cousin, Farmer Brown has an even dozen. Who? Very good. Pap the dog by Mark Beckwith. I have a dog I call Pap, who likes to sit on my lap. He wants to be fed when I am in bed, so I just toss Pap a scrap. Pap the dog is quite small, but he can stand on top of a ball. He whines and he begs up on two legs. I. I do hope that Pap will not fall. When does the dog? Oh gosh, I'm sorry. That's not the answer I was looking for. Try another. 
Excellent. Only one more star to go. The Size Poem by Mark Beckwith. My pet pig, he's huge. He's so big. Oh, how he likes to eat! When pig has his lunch, he eats such a bunch that he could not even see his feet. My pet cat is not very fat. She's fine, not big and round. In fact, she's so thin, just bones, fur, and skin. She probably weighs less than a pound. The oddest one yet is not even a pet. Not fat, not thin, not small. Lots of muscles he's got, and 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 he's got quite a lot. It's my dad. He's seven Who feet is tall. Not That's correct. Pap the dog by Mark Beckwith. I have a dog I call Pap, who likes to sit on my lap. He wants to be fed when I am in bed, so I just toss Pap a scrap. Pap the dog is quite small. But he can stand on top of a ball. He whines and he begs up on two legs. I do hope that Pap will not fall. What can Pap? You're right. Golly gosh, you have all four stars. That's one clue coming right up. There you go. There's your second clue. One more, and we're off. Golly, reading is fun, isn't it? Enjoy. A child versus a garden by Glennis Campbell. Winter, spring, summer, fall. Seasons circle round us all. Summer, fall, winter, spring, ter spring, ter spring, ter spring, ter spring. In my garden, growing things. First comes winter's ice and snow. It's too soon for seeds to grow. Flowers freeze and cold winds blow. Winter's not the time to sow. Next comes spring and brighter days. April showers, sunny mays, bringing warmth that all plants need. Spring is when I plant the seed. Winter, spring, summer, fall. Seasons circle round us all. Summer, fall, winter, spring. In my garden, growing things. Then comes summer, hot and dry. Not a cloud up in the sky. Now my plant has poked its head up into the flower bed. Fall has come with cooler days, falling leaves and foggy haze. Now at last my plant is finished. Ah, I must have planted spinach. When does she? You're a good reader. The new boy in class by Mark Beckwith. A new boy started in my class today. His name is Juan. Juan is kind of different from me, but kind of the same. He seems nice. 
Juan told me his mom and dad are from a place called Mexico. Juan is lucky. 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 He speaks English like me, and he also speaks Spanish. Juan is kind of different from me, but kind of the same. He says some words differently than I do. He loves to play soccer, just like me. Juan's hair is black, and my hair is light brown. He likes to be silly. I like to be silly too. Juan is kind of different from me, but kind of the same. I guess everyone is that way. I hope he will be my friend. What does Juan? Very good. Only three more stars to go. The Grandfather Clock by Mark Beckwith. Most any clock will keep good time, and there are even some clocks that chime. But do you see the clock by the wall? It is a grandfather clock, the best of them all. Grandfather clock does more than tick tock. He is the only clock that I know can talk. Don't be scared. Come close. Come near. Just ask the clock for the time, and you'll hear. Tick tock, tick tock. What time is it, Grandfather Clock? Long hand on twelve, short hand on one. It's one o'clock. There's work to be done. Tick tock, tick tock. What time is it, Grandfather Clock? Long hand on twelve, short hand on two. It is two o'clock. It's nap time for you. Tick tock, tick tock. What time is it, Grandfather Clock? Long hand on six, short hand past three. It's three thirty. Now bring me my tea. Tick tock, tick tock. What time is it, Grandfather Clock? Long hand on six, short hand past four. It's four thirty. Now go do your chore. Grandfather Clock, he can tell time. Grandfather Clock does not need to chime. Grandfather Clock, boy, he can talk. Yes, Grandfather is one bossy clock. What can only a Grandfather Clock? Oops, that's wrong. Think about the story and pick another answer. Golly, according to the story. That's the wrong answer. Excellent. Roy G. Biv by Glennis Campbell. I met a boy named Roy G. Biv. Can you guess where he might live? On a rainbow in the sky, in a castle way up high. Well, he took me home last March, pointing out the rainbow's arch. All the colors that you see get their names, he said, from me. For I am Roy G. Biv, he cried. Then he let me peek inside, peek inside, peek inside, peek inside, peek inside. See the stripes, the boy exclaimed. Match the letters of my name. R is red. The roses wear it. O is orange, like a carrot. Y is yellow as a bee. G is green like a baobab tree. B is blue, a robin in flight. I is indigo, sky at night. V is violet like the flowers, and all of them come out after showers. Roy G. Biv then shook my hand. I must go. You'll understand. The clouds are moving from the sky. Time for us to say goodbye. So I watched him fade away. I know he'll come back some day. If you look where rainbows live, maybe you'll see Roy G. Biv. Who 
is Roy G. Biv. That's correct. Only two more stars to go. Peace Man by Mark Beckwith. This is a story about the superhero Peace Man. Peace Man was dressed in a shiny gray outfit. He had long black hair with bright green eyes. His powers seemed to come from his eyes and the way that he spoke. Peace Man had the power to solve any problem, stop any fight, and make any two enemies become friends. But his powers did not seem to work on many people at once, but only on one or two people at a time. One day, Peace Man came to a school where there was a problem. A group of kids wearing blue jackets were yelling at a bunch of kids wearing black jackets. The black jackets were screaming too. They needed the help of Peace of Peace of Peace of Peace of Peace Man. Peace Man stepped between the black jackets and the blue jackets and said, "Look at me and listen to me." Most of the angry kids looked into his eyes. Some even started to calm down. But just then, Tony, a tall boy with the blue jackets, yelled, "Forget it!" Zack, in the black jackets, shouted, "Forget you, blue jacket!" Peace Man turned his eyes towards Tony and Zack. Using his peace powers, he talked gently to the boys. Soon, Peace Man got Tony and Zack talking to each other in a gentle way. After a while, both boys were laughing. Tony went to the Blue Jackets and spoke to his friends. Zack returned to the Black Jackets and talked. It seemed that none of them could remember why they were angry at the other group of kids. They just learned to hate each other. Now the Black Jackets didn't seem so bad to the Blue Jackets. And the blue jackets did not seem like bad kids to the black jackets. In fact, thanks to Peace Man, they all got together and formed a hockey team. They called it Black and Blue. What power did Peace Man have? You're right. Late for school. By Mark Beckwith. Here I am at the gate. My watch says it's eight. Oh, good. Oh, good. I am not late. But there is no one there. The schoolyard is bare. No teacher. No friends. No one anywhere. How can this be? It's eight o'clock. I can see. But no teacher. No friends. Just me. Did my teacher not stay? Did my friends move away? Oh, I know why. It's Saturday. What time did the? Now that's incorrect. Try again. You're a good reader. Only one more star to go. The Friendship by Glennis Campbell. There's no one here to play with. Timmy shouted to the sky. There's no one here to play with me. He muttered with a sigh. I think I'll build a rocket ship and fly and fly and fly and fly and fly out into space. There has to be a friend for me in some remoter place. He rocketed to Mercury. The planet near the sun, but it was far too hot for friends, and he found not a one. Tim flew his ship to Venus. It was filled with poison gas, and Mars was far too dusty, so he piloted on past. He looked for friends on Jupiter. The planet was too big.
Then he got caught on Saturn's rings, and he did a whirly gig. And Uranus and Neptune had no friends on them at all. Pluto, furthest from the sun, was cold and bleak and small. So sadly, Timmy turned his ship and headed back for home. He'd found no friends in outer space, and still he was alone. But as he flew his ship to Earth, it bumped and rattled hard. It tumbled from the sky and crashed into his neighbor's yard. And standing in the clearing smoke, he found another child. A boy building a rocket ship. Tim saw him and he smiled. I wouldn't waste my time, he said. No, not if I were you. There are friends enough on planet Earth. I'm Tim. How do you do? Why did Timmy build a rocket? Very good. The Loose Tooth by Glynis Campbell. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle! It makes me want to giggle. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle! My tooth is very loose. Will it come out on Sunday if I chew a stick of gum? Will it come out on Monday if I tap it with my thumb? Will it come out on Tuesday if I eat some toast and jam? Will it come out? Will it come out? Will it come out? Will it come out? Will it come out on Wednesday if I give the door a slam? Will it come out on Thursday while I'm playing hide and seek? Will it come out on Friday? Will it fall? If it doesn't happen、week? Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, or on Wednesday, or on Thursday or Friday, then it's Saturday for sure. I'll wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. I'll give a little tickle. I'll jiggle, jiggle, jiggle. I'll eat a big dill pickle. I'll pull and tug and wriggle. I'll munch on pumpernickel. Cause Saturday I'll put my tooth beneath my pillowcase, and Sunday morning I will find some money in its place, and then I can go shopping if Mommy lets me take her. I know just what I'd like to buy—a peppermint jawbreaker. Where will she put her tooth? Excellent! Golly gosh, you have all four stars. One clue coming right up. There you go. That's three clues for you. That means we're going on a treasure hunt. Great work, matey! It's treasure hunt time. Hey, Floyd, why don't you explain the rule to my buddy? Alrighty then. Here's how it works. The first clue is a question that gets you on the boat. The second clue will get you to the island, and the third clue will guide you right to the treasure. That's it. Oh yeah, and don't forget all the gold coins you'll be earning if you find the treasure quickly. Woohoo! Let's jump all over that first question, pal. If each spider has eight legs and there are two spiders on a web, how many legs? Wow, you're as sharp as a tack. What do you say we set off on the treasure hunt? Just click on the boat and we'll be on our way. Welcome aboard, Team Matey. See where we are on the map? We have to navigate that boat to the correct island. It's easy. Just click on the arrow buttons or use the arrow keys on the keyboard. So let's hoist anchor and get going. 
Go to the island in B1. There's something out there. Aye, matey. Tree Ford Island is dead ahead. Tree Ford Island. This place is the best. Pretty impressive, huh? Click where you think Ms. Nobel hid the treasure. It starts as a seed so itty bitty, then it grows a stem and petals so pretty. Flower pot. You found the treasure. You're on your way to the top. Need help? Just click on the question mark. you've already visited. Time to see how many gold coins you've earned, partner. For finding the first treasure on this treasure hunt, you earn seven gold coins. Click anywhere to close this screen and continue your treasure hunt. We've got more treasure to find. Let's go! I still need your help with quite a few things. Dear, oh dear. Golly gosh, I could sure use your help with the lost and found. Tell you what. I have some treasure hunt clues for you if you help me match the children with their lost items. Click on a child and an item to see if they belong together. Let's clear this shelf, shall we? Near. Poor. Oops. Rich. Poor. What once was lost now is found. Far. Near. You've made that child very happy. End. Begin. Great work. Big. Little. You've made that child very happy. Only three more happy faces to go. Match the words that are synonyms. Synonyms are words that have the same meaning. Take. Well. Oh my. Roll. Fine. Choose another. Bun. Grab. See. Take. Oops. Try again. Look. See. Well, golly, you're right. Well. Fine. What once was lost, now is found. Roll. Bun. 
Well, golly, you're right. Grab. Take. Well, golly, you're right. Only two more happy faces to go. Match the words that rhyme. Rut. Cup. Puma. Nut. Rut. You've made that child very happy. Fed. Man. Choose bed. Well, golly, you're right. Pan. Man. Well, golly, you're right. Pup. Cup. Well, golly, you're right. Only one more happy face to go. Match the words that are antonyms. Push. Sell. Pull. On. Whoops. Tall. Off. Push. Short. Buy. Sell. What once was lost, now is found. Pull. Push. Great work. Short. On. Tall. Short. Great work. Off. On. You've made that child very happy. Oh my, you have four happy faces. Good for you. <laughs> Gee willikers, you just earned a clue. There you go. There's your first clue. Keep it up. Well, gee, I guess it's time to test out my new science game. How exciting. Here's how it works. Three of the tiles will start to spin. I'll give you a clue, and you'll need to shoot at the tile with the picture that matches my clue. If you're right, the tile will have a star on it. If you're wrong, the tile will have an X on it. Try to get four stars in a row. Got that? Okay, let's go. I have a sail. I'm a sailboat. Correct. I have two wheels. I'm a bike. Excellent. I can bounce a ball on my nose. I am a seal. You're right on target. I'm a kind of transportation that's bigger than... I'm a car. Excellent. I have a crust. I'm a slice of bread. You're right on target. Cowboys ride me. I am a horse. Nice shot. I look like colorful beans. I'm jelly beans. Correct. 
look like a dog. I am a fox. You're right! I look like a ball. I'm a hot air balloon. You're right! Only three more balloons to go. I am long and yellow. I'm a banana. You're right! You can make french fries out of me. I'm a potato. Correct. I blow up like a balloon. I am a blowfish. You're right on target. I have only two wheels. I'm a motorcycle. Correct. My name and my color are the same. I'm an orange. You're right! Only two more balloons to go. I build nests in trees. I am a bald eagle. Excellent! I have paddles. I'm a canoe. You're right! I am very small. I am a shrimp. You're right on target. I slide over snow. I'm skis. You're right! I have one or two humps. I am a camel. Correct. I fly in outer space. I'm a spaceship. Excellent! I came from a chicken. I'm an egg. Correct. You can put a slice of me in a sa- I'm cheese. Correct. Only one more balloon to go. I'm boots with wheels. I'm roller skates. Correct. I look like I'm smiling. I am a clam. You're right! Some people call me an Airbus. I'm an airplane. You're right on target. I have a twirling propeller on my top. I'm a helicopter. You're right on target. I look like a star. I am a starfish. You're right! Dozens of children ride to school in me. I'm a school bus. Hop about. I am a frog. You're right! I am black and white. I am an orca whale. You're right on target. I say moo. I am a 
the cow. Excellent! I go very fast on the water. I'm a speedboat. You're right on target. Gosh, that's great. You got all four balloons. Gee willikers, you just earned a clue. There you go. There's your second clue. One more and we're off. Halt! Who goes there? Don't worry, Floyd. It's just me and my partner. Oh, yes, the treasure hunt. Well, I guess I can let you pass then. You're the best, Floyd! Yep, not everyone could handle the pressure of being the hall monitor. It is an important job. Nobody gets through my hallway without me knowing it. We're talking school security, Buster! Well, we have to get going then, Floyd. Not so fast, Frankie. You know your way around here, but your friend is new to the school. And it's my job to give... The tour! That's the way back to the classroom. And this door here leads to the music room. That door right there takes you to the art room. The playground is through those doors at the end of the hall. There's the door to the lunch room. And that's the way to the kitchen. You can help me fill out some hall passes using the hall pass machine on the desk. I'm ready when you're ready, pal. Hall passes are a very important part of school security. All the times must be completely filled in without exception. I'll tell you the times, and then you use the arrow keys to set the clocks to the correct times. The start time for this pass should be set to 7 o'clock. And the finish time for this pass should be set to 8 o'clock. Now use the arrows to complete the pass. 8 o'clock, 7 o'clock, 11, 10, 9 o'clock, 8 o'clock. You got it! Only three more passes to go. I need you to set the start time to 10 o'clock. And please set the finish time of this pass to 3 o'clock. 11 o'clock, 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, 10 o'clock, 9 o'clock, 8 o'clock, 7 6 4 3 Terrific! Only two more passes to go! Please set the start time of this pass to 3 o'clock. And I need you to set the finish time to 5 o'clock. Oh, 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 2 o'clock. Three, four o'clock, five o'clock. Nice work! Only one more pass to go. The start time for this pass should be set to four o'clock. And the finish time for this pass should be set to eight o'clock. Now, one, two o'clock, three, four o'clock, one, four, five, six, seven, eight o'clock. Yep, that's it! You did it! You got all four passes!
just earned a clue! There you go! Three clues equals one treasure hunt! We made it! I can't wait to shove off and heave ho! What day comes before Wednesday? I should call you Sherlock Bones. What do you say we set off on the treasure hunt? Just click on the boat and we'll be on our way. It's time to steer this boat to the right island. Let's do it! Go to the island that is 3 South and one west of the school. I think I see something. It's a dream come true. We're coming up on Fairy Tale Island. Wow, Fairy Tale Island. I can feel the magic in the air. Who knows what exciting things we'll find here? First, listen to the clue, then click on the spot where you think the treasure is hidden. From a bean grew this clue, now it hides a treasure from you. Beanstalk, you found the treasure just like they do in the stories. Let's take a look at how you're doing. The second treasure hunt item earns you another seven gold coins. Click anywhere to close this screen and continue your treasure hunt. This treasure hunt isn't done yet, but let's go back into the school. I am so glad to see you. Halt! Looks like we're the only ones here. Mr. Diddy won't mind if we try making some music, if we're careful. Hey, who did that? Who did that? Frankie? Oh, sorry, Mr. Diddy. I didn't know you were here. What were you doing in the tuba, anyway? Well, I was cleaning it, of course, cleaning it. I have to keep these instruments in tippy-top condition. It would be so much fun to play some tunes. Yes, yes, yes. Click the pipe organ to make your own beautiful melodies 
or click around the room to discover other wonders for your ears. Oh dear, and I almost forgot. The music box on the floor can play beautiful songs. Just go ahead and click on it. makes my heart feel light as a feather, and I should know. I've got lots of feathers. Click on the keys or type the numbers on the keyboard to play the notes. Click around to discover all sorts of things to do with the pipe organ.
Making music is fun. What would you like to do next? Click on one of the songs if you'd like to hear some beautiful music. Here we go! Jump start first grade, everyone up front! You've been okayed for a treasure hunt. Let's go visit this island, get to know it by heart. You'll have the pleasure of looking for treasure from food to works of art. Are you ready? On your mark. Jump start! Click on one of the songs. So I suppose you've heard the story of Jack and Jill Well, do you recall, they took a spill It's cause of gravity, got pulled by gravity The buckets they were carrying were heavy and full Gravity, hey, gravity Gravity, they both had gravity The bigger the object, 
the stronger the pull. You know that gravity's a force we cannot resist. If it wasn't here, we would not exist. It always holds you down, so you stay on the ground. It's why we hit the dirt every time that we run. Gravity, yeah, gravity, gravity. This thing called gravity keeps us on this planet as we orbit the sun. I'll tell you all an amazing thing for what it's worth. You weigh more on Jupiter than you do on Earth. Your weight depends on the place you are If you live on Earth or some distant star You could lose gravity, yes, have less gravity If you could take a rocket and live on the moon Gravity, woo, gravity, gravity You'd have less gravity You'd feel just like hot air inside a balloon on one of the songs if you'd like to hear some beautiful potato I can bake or broil How shall I cook it up in butter or oil? There's only one potato as you can see I'll cut it into half for you, half for me One potato, two potato, three potato, four Will I have enough or will I need more? Company is coming, maybe six, maybe eight If I cut it into quarters, there'll be plenty on the plate Potatoes, I have eight. With three potatoes, I have twelve quarters. With four potatoes, wait. Oh, oh, wow! There are so many potatoes now. What was I thinking with the potatoes? We have potatoes for days here. <laughs> here are four potatoes I can fry or boil. If I lay them out on aluminum foil How many quarters can you see? Will I have enough potatoes for my company? One potato, two potato, three potato, four Company's knocking on my front door I add lots of butter and then I fluff I mash my potatoes so there would be enough Thank you, baby Enjoy your potatoes. Click on one of the songs if you'd like. All the world is alive with works of fabulous art. If you look where you are, you'll see them all around. Just like me, you can blend and play. A colorful part in this dazzling world called art See the pretty yellow daffodil Sitting on the purple windowsill There's a bird, a spotted whippoorwill He blends it too So let's go for a walk And look for anything green See the grass in the park What color do you see? There's a car, there's a house And see that tree in between It's a shady chameleon Me Click 
on one of the songs if you'd like to hear some beautiful music. A tin hoot! Stomach in, chest out! Calling alphabet soup, all you letters fall in. You're such a confident group. Let the spelling begin as you make your way around the pot. Let me see what you've got. Who will volunteer for the front and make a word? C A T. Forward alphabet soup. G and W freeze. Don't let those shoulders just droop. Proud and tall ABCs. Letter A, your target is clear. C, you bring up the rear. Which of you who stand in this row will make a word? G O G A B C D E F G H I J K L M N N O P Q R S T U V and W X Y Z. You follow through. Now in columns, two by two, forward march. Troopers! Onward alphabet soup Through the carrots and salt Now let me see every troop Hold position and halt You have made this company shine Make the victory sign You are what the making of words is all about Alphabet supers fall out! Click on one of the songs if you... In shape while our bodies are growing. Bends and stretches are the way to stay fit. Shake your body, get the hang of it. Oh, when my body gets strong, I can play much longer. My brain is sharp, my mind gets stronger. Do two stretches right where you are. How many stretches have we done so far? Well, two. You're right. Duck that tummy and hold those lines. Two. That's right. the sound of music why does it make me feel so good inside the notes seem to fly just like a bird they soar through the air and simply long to be heard why do my ears enjoy the chirp of music why do I want to sing along and dance when I hear a flute starting to play it takes me far far away when I hear a Mozart note, it simply gives me such a lift. Each day I hear the things he wrote feels like a gift.
can wake and hear the joy of music Take off and try this magic carpet ride Just listen some time, right where you are Feels like you must be fairy dust And like you just touched a star Click on one of the songs. All right, everybody, listen up. Jump start first grade. Everyone up front, over here. You've been okay for a treasure hunt. Let's go visit this island. Get to know it by heart. You have the pleasure of looking for treasure from food to works of art. Are you ready? All right, on your mark. Jump start! Everyone, now, at the same time. Explore the music room by clicking around. You never know what you'll see or hear. Hold it right there! Oh, you two are cleared for the hallway. Frankie, it's so good to see you! Whoa! I wish I could say it's good to see you, but I can't see you! Oh, sorry. Sometimes I get lost in my work. Yikes! Wow! How do you do that, Camille? I'm a chameleon, and blending in comes as naturally to me as digging up the yard does to you, Frankie. Now I only dig for clues, Camille, because I'm on a treasure hunt. But while we're in the art room, my friend and I would love to do some painting. Of course! Come in and create a masterpiece of your own anytime you want by clicking on the art pad on the table or just click around the art room. Let's paint a masterpiece. You can use one of the brushes or the dropper. Change colors whenever you like. The page is full of beautiful backgrounds and the roll of stamps is full of fun. Click on the arrow to save your work and click on the printer to print it. Thank you. 
Do you want to save this picture?
You haven't saved your You're so creative. Let's go painting again soon. Hall passes, please. Oops, you two don't need one. Hey, Chef Gumbo, what's cooking? Everything's cooking, Frankie. I have a lot of hungry students to feed, and you know, even though I've got eight hands, I could always use a couple more. How about lending me a paw or two? I'm on a treasure hunt right now, Chef Gumbo, but I'm always happy to help out in the kitchen. I'm glad you've been keeping busy, Frankie. You were digging so many holes that the island was beginning to look like Swiss cheese. I only dig for treasure now, Chef Gumbo. Got any clues? I sure do, but the two of you will have to help me out here. You can make some recipes at the food machine or top some pizzas at the pizza maker. Yahoo! I'm getting hungry for some clues. Let's go! This is my fabulous food machine. It makes filling an order as easy as one, two, three. Step one, click on the measuring device called for by the recipe. Step two, click on the right ingredient. Step three, click on the red in spout. Keep it up until you've added everything the recipe needs. Then click on the cook button. One half cup Seaweed. One cup. Popcorn. Popcorn. One cup. Popcorn. 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 One tablespoon corn meal. One third tablespoon. Beautiful. You bring tears of joy to my eyes. Only three more cupcakes to go. Let's make some Neptune candy nuggets. We need one half tablespoon of vanilla and three one half vanilla.
One half tape vanilla. One half tablespoon vanilla. Not quite what was ordered, so I'll eat it. Let's make some sea salt pretzels. We need one one tablespoon sea salt. One one cup milk. 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 One milk. Yeast. Whoa! That is brilliant. You've given me food for thought. Only two more cupcakes to go. Let's make some Admiral Apple Crisps. We need two cups of apple juice and three eggs and two cups of syrup. One cup apple juice. Apple juice. Egg. 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 One cup syrup. Syrup. Bravissimo! It makes my mouth water just looking at it. Only one more cupcake to go. Let's make some Captain's Caramel Corn. We need one cup of popcorn. One cup popcorn. One table butter. But 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 chocolate. 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 Fantastic! Or as I like to say, foodtastic! Oh. You did it, compadre! That's four delicious cupcakes. You are on fire. You just earned a clue. There you go. There's your first clue! Keep it up! Making pizza is as easy as pie. Pizza pie, that is. When we get in order, I'll drop the pizza crust on the conveyor belt and then you take over. Click on one of the requested toppings and then click on where it should go on the pizza. Keep going until all the correct toppings are on the pizza. We need a pizza with all peppers, peppers, peppers. 
beautiful. You bring tears of joy to my eyes. We need a pizza with a one half mushrooms and a one half olives. Mushrooms, olives. Brilliant! You've given me food for thought. Only three more pizza flags to go. We need a pizza with all pepperoni, pepperoni, pepperoni. Bravissimo! It makes my mouth water just looking at it. We need a pizza with a one half olives and olives pepperoni. Fantastic! Or as I like to say, foodtastic. Only two more pizza flags to go. We need a pizza with all mushroom, mushrooms, mushrooms. Hip hip hooray! That's the best food I've seen today. We need a pizza with a one half peppers and a one half olives, peppers. Olives. Beautiful. You bring tears of joy to my eyes. Only one more pizza flag to go. We need a pizza with a one half pepperoni peppers. Brilliant. You've given me food for thought. We need a pizza with mushrooms, olives. Bravissimo! It makes my mouth water just looking at it. Beautiful, just beautiful. That's four pizza flags. That kind of work gets you a clue. That will help you find the treasure. There's your second clue. One more and we're off! This food machine makes my job a lot easier. <laughs> Let's make some Crewman's cupcakes. We need three quarter tablespoon of flour and one egg and one half cup of apple juice and two cups of yeast. One quarter teaspoon. One quarter tablespoon flour. 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 Egg. One half cup apple juice. One cup yeast. Yeast. Beautiful. You bring tears of joy to my eyes. <laughs> Only three more cupcakes to go. 
Let's make some buccaneer banana bread. With banana 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 a one quarter milk milk a one quarter milk milk one tea to one half one tablespoon baking 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 a one quarter tablespoon one third teaspoon to one half tablespoon Baking powder, baking soda, corn, baking soda. One tea. Wow, that is brilliant! You've given me food for thought. Only two more cupcakes to go. Uh, let's make some wave waffles. We need three quarter teaspoon of sea salt and a, a one quarter sea 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 one cup to one half cup flour. A one quarter cup. Popcorn. Popcorn. A one half tablespoon seaweed. Bravissimo! Makes my mouth water just looking at it. Only one more cupcake to go. Let's make some sourdough sailor scones. We need a one half cup of butter. And a one half cup butter. One cup egg. Egg. One cup apple. Apple. Apple juice. One apple. Apple. A one half cup. Yeast. To one half tea. Yeast. Fantastic. Or as I like to say, foodtastic. <laughs> You did it, compadre! That's four delicious cupcakes! Let me serve you a clue! Hang on to that. You'll be needing it. That's three clues for you. That means we're going on a treasure hunt. Nicely done. Are you ready to set sail for adventure? I sure am. I'm a butterfly. When I was young, I was... That's right! Boy, am I lucky to have you around. What do you say we set off on the treasure hunt? Just click on the boat and we'll be on our way. Come on, let's find some treasure. Go to the island that is two south and two west of the school.
Keep a sharp lookout. It's Toy Island. Prepare to play. Yahoo! Toy Island! There's so many things to play with. I don't know where to begin. But first things first, let's find some treasure. Click on the spot where you think it's hidden. This clue comes around the bend with a caboose at its end. Toy Train! You found the treasure! That puts you ahead of the game! Gold coins you've earned, partner! Finding the third item means that you're halfway there, and for finding it you get seven gold coins! Click anywhere to close this screen and continue your treasure hunt. The next clue awaits! To the schoolhouse, Maggie! 